Workplace and Primary Health Network here in Mackay. Um, this webinar is um, designed to assist you to complete a physical assessment in Medical Director. Um, I've opened a patient to save us a little time and um, you can open a patient too if you want and follow me in the process or just simply watch the webinar. So to complete a physical assessment in um, a medical director, you can see that I've done it before and that it's actually recorded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the assessment tab, which is on the top of your um, bar in medical director, press physical activity. As you can see, I've done a couple to runs to make sure that it's working today. Um, and you simply will come up will be a box for you. Now it um, identifies when those physical activities were done and how close you were to the score of five, which is the ultimate score in physical activity within um, this assessment um, tool. So if we go to assessment, and up will come another box. This box has actually got a ruler, and this ruler is something that you can pull across depending upon the results of the conversation that you have with your with your patient. So it really is looking at your patient and having a chat to your patient about, okay, so what do you actually do? What's your physical activity? They may not necessarily go to a gym or do something that's structured. They may have other things like they might do um, running on the beach with the dog or, um, generally, um, you know, do, doing some swimming with friends on the weekend or they might do any sort of uh, skiing behind a boat or whatever with their friends. So just generally trying to determine, are they doing about 20 minutes of vis vigorous physical activity at least um, a couple of times a week? So it's given some examples of the general stuff like your jogging and um, tennis and swimming and things like that. So just to evaluate, did you, are they puffing and panting, are they getting a bit sweaty, you know, where do they sit there and how many times a week do they actually do that? Well, this, this person really enjoys, um, you know, swimming a lot, so they might do that twice a week. The other, any other activities that they're doing, well, this person's a gardener, they love doing their gardening, so, you know, they're having a bit of a uh, dig around the garden, they're mulching, they're moving wheelbarrow around, carrying the weeds or whatever, so they, they are getting a bit physical, it does go for more than 30 minutes, they're usually gardening all day long, they're doing some brisk, um, uh, moderate activity that tends to get their heart rate pumping, so they're going to do that twice a week, and you can see that this individual's nearly there, um, so that five is the ultimate score, but this person, as I remember, is 54-year-old diabetic. This actually might be enough um, from your point of view as a clinician. That's a decision that you'll have um, generally with a discussion with the patient and yourself to evaluate whether you feel this four is actually enough. Recommended is five, but considering the patient as a whole um, will determine what you want, whether you want to prescribe or whether you want to um, leave it as is. So we're going to save this now. When I say, it's going to ask me a question, would you like to prescribe further activity for this patient? So just for this example, I'm going to say yes. What am I going to do? Well, hang on, medical director is giving me a prompt. The prompt is associated to the conditions that you have pre-coded in the past medical history. So this individual we know is a diabetic and also an asthmatic. Um, she's an insulin dependent diabetic. So we just need to be aware that exercise is contraindicated for somebody who has her conditions, and that would be because maybe she'll have a hypo or whatever. We just need to make sure that we've cautioned her to take her blood glucose levels before and after exercise. She used to be an uncontrolled diabetic, but in the last three months, she really has turned herself around and her um, blood sugars are looking more um, structured and under control. Um, she's really wanting to focus on losing a little bit of weight she does want to improve her cardiovascular um, strength. So, you know, we're going to um, help her out here and we're going to say, to her, look, we're just going to do a little bit more activity with you. So we're going to continue with the prescription. You're nearly there. You're on the four and we really should be on the five. So let's have a look at what sort of activity we can prescribe. You know, she's already doing swimming. We know that she's already doing gardening. She could do a little bit of walking and that could be, parking her car a little bit further away from the shopping centre or even going for a 15, 20 minute walk around um, Cane Lands or something like that when she does do her shopping, window shopping or whatever. 
Um, we're just going to do some gentle walking. We don't want it too vigorous. But she is nearly there. And remember, she's 54 years of age. Um, so, and we're just going to start 15, 10 to 15 minutes. So, like I said, you know, drop, pop your car a little bit further away from the door of the shops and walk that little bit extra. How often are we going to do that? We're going to say it's going to go to about twice a week. So, one to two times a week. Um, this area here is if, for example, I decided that we best thing for her as her clinician, I was going to put her in exercise class, going to send her, uh, you know, maybe three or four times a week, and we're going to send her an exercise physiologist. So we, I would put that in there that she's been recommended to go to an exercise physiologist. But in this case, we we're only going to be very gentle with her because she's nearly there, and do some gentle walking. There's nothing that needs to go in the referral area. It's just shown that, you know, here in MD, physical activity is, is, is especially beneficial because of your, and we're going to say diabetes. If we had in um, recorded in here that she was obese, I could have clicked on obesity as the weight issue. Um, this is a really good example of what probably shouldn't be in her active past medical history. Hopefully she doesn't have, still does not have enough of respiratory tract infection from 2009. So I, that will remind me to go back and make that inactive. Um, and um, we will hopefully that that's been um, resolved as well. So really we should just be seeing diabetes and asthma in here. It would be good to know which type one or type two. So what's going to be the benefits? And this is going to come out on her script. So the benefit for her is that it's actually going to help her to maintain an ideal weight. If for some reason that Heather wasn't feeling, you know, the best and finds it difficult, you know, uh, challenging or she's a bit um, isolated, whatever, we might say, let's going to decrease social isolation because we've organised her to have to be in class with someone. Or we're looking at, you know, improving her general well-being. In this case, we're going to stick with weight. Press the next button. This is where I might comment in there that, you know, because she's a diabetic, we have discussed... Um, taking her blood glucose levels before she does any sort of vigorous activity to ensure there's no adverse events that might occur like that. or something like that. So I'll put um, discussed um, measuring BGLs before activity. Um, and we will have that discussion with her. And again, as a clinician, you can decide what you wish to put in that box. We're going to see her in about a month's time and go, uh, okay, what was good, what was bad, and what else do we need to do? Um, I'm going to print this physical activity script, and it will go to um, uh, the printer that's been designated within your medical director. Um, I could also do a patient education um, handout, and they're usually provided to you in your sidebar of your MD. So when I, if I click that, usually what will come up will be a PDF from the Heart Foundation or Diabetes Australia. And it, again, just some facts about exercise. It's very good to give to patients, so um, consider including that in your um, handouts. So I'm going to finish that. And as you can see, what will happen is it's going to record the date, the time, so the um, activity that I've recommended, 10, 15 minutes, once, twice a week, and um, when am I going to see her again? So that's basically it. That's how to record a physical activity um, assessment in Medical Director. Thank you very much for your time.